Hi, hi, welcome to Kadavu. In this episode of Daily Dose, we'll be solving an Ashwinsha coding interview question. And the name of the question is Max Exponents. So this question has been asked last month. So relatively new question, we'll solve it now. So we are given the function max exponent of and we have to obviously complete this function. So let us first read this passage, find the logic and then code this logic. So we'll start with the passage. You have to find and return the number between A and B, range inclusive on both the ends, which has the maximum exponent of 2. The algorithm to find the number with maximum exponent of 2 between the given ranges. And gladly, the advantage of this question is Asuncha has given us the algorithm itself. So all we have to do is read that algorithm and implement it. So the coding part is of course, uh, you know, going to be really easy. So let us move on to the algorithm and look at it. So algorithm to find blah 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 we saw. Loop between A and B. Let the loop variable be i. Okay. So we are traversing from A to B. Find the exponent of 2 for which i and store the number with maximum exponent of 2 in max. Set max to i only if i has more exponent of 2 than max and return max. So what is this logic? The exponent of 2 means how many times are we able to divide a number by 2 perfectly? So what do I mean by this? Let us take a number 8. So we have 8, we divide 8 by 2, we get 4. It is perfectly divisible. We have 4, we divide it by 2, we get 2 again. 2 divided by 2, we get 1. And there we stop because we cannot divide by 2 and get a positive integer as input. See, output. So we have divided 8 by 2 three times in order to reach the minimum value, right? in this case 1. So the exponent of 2 in this case, what we mean here is the answer is 3. So that is the exponent of 2. So when we take a number, we have to divide it by 2 continuously and it should be perfectly divisible. right? So how many times are we able to divide a number by 2 perfectly is the exponent of that number. That is what is given in this case. So we have to find the maximum exponent in this given range. So the range is A and B. So let us move on to example input and verify this. So we are given 7 and 12 as the inputs. So we will range from 7 all the way up to 12 and we have to find the exponent of each number. That is, we have to divide that number by 2 and check whether it is perfectly divisible. If it is so, we will divide it again and again repeatedly and check its count. So the count is the exponent of that number and we have to find the number with maximum count or maximum exponent. So in this case, the output is 8. So as we can see here, 8 has the maximum number, so that is 3. So that would be the obvious answer. But how did we get 8? As we saw, divided by 2 thrice, we get the least value 1. So we can't divide 7 by 2 because it is an odd number, of course. And similar, the same logic applies to 9 as well as 11. So the only three numbers that we got in this range is 8, 10 and 12. 8, of course, has 3. 10, when we divide it by 2, we get 5, which is an odd number. And hence, we'll divide it only once. So the exponent of 10 would be 1 and the exponent of 12 would be 2. 12, 6 and then we get 3. We can't divide by 3. So, so we can't divide 2. So we can't divide 3 by 2. And hence, the value of exponent of 12 would be 2. So 3, 1, 2, the maximum value of course is 3. And hence, that would be our answer. So this is the logic and now we have to code it. So let us move on to the compiler and code this logic. So we are given the main function, the max exponents of function and a weird count function. So you have to obviously complete these two functions, the max exponents and the count function. We'll use this count function inside this max exponents of function. We'll know why just a minute. So we have these two numbers, a and b as the input, and that is passed down to the max exponents of function. So let us move on to the max exponents of function part and code this. So where do we start? So the logic is already given to us, the algorithm. We have to start with the traversal of the numbers from A to B, right? So for int, uh, int i is equal to A and we are moving all the way up to i is less than or equal to B. And why is this? Because the range is given to be inclusive. Both the ends are included. So we are including B as well. So i plus plus. Step 1 is done. Step 2 was to find the maximum exponent. So in order to do that, we have this function count. 
so what it does is it counts the total number of exponent of each number so in this case we have i and we are iterating to it so we'll have a temporary variable let us say int temp and this count function is passed on to this value as integer i okay so the count function has an argument i now and this count function what it does is it will give us the exponent of that number that is it will divide the given number by 2 repeatedly till it is perfectly indivisible and return us the count so we have the count now what do we do we have to check whether it is greater than the original maximum value of count that we have so if we have 8 that is the count as 3 in this case as we saw we can divide 8 by 2 thrice until we reach a number that is not perfectly divisible so the max value in this case would be 3 and if we move on to the next number that is let us say 12 and the value of count or exponent for that number would be 2 so can we change this maximum value no because 3 is already greater than 2 so what are we checking is if this temp is greater than the existing max only then we'll be changing these values so what will be changing to we'll change the value of max to the temp value and we do not even have the max value defined so let us define that first so int max is equal to 0 and we'll also have another num that is assigned to 0 so what is this num so this num is our answer so why do i say that so we have to return the number which has the maximum exponent and not the maximum exponent right so 3 is the maximum exponent but we have to return 8 the number which has this 3 that is which has the maximum exponent and hence this num will store our answer that is the number which stores which has the maximum exponent so if temp is greater than max then will also have the value of num assigned to i and this would complete this for loop and all we have to do now is return this num that is our answer so this would complete the max exponents function so all we have to do is fill this count function so what does this count function do it obviously divides the number by 2 and gives us the output so let us start with the value so we'll have a variable called count or exponent for that case so this exponent is set to 0 and this will be our count that is the exponent of that number for 8 it was 3 and 12 it was 2 so int exponent is equal to 0 and we'll start with a while loop So we are using a while loop because we certainly do not know the total number of iterations that we are going to go in through. So, what is our condition? So the condition would be we need to divide that number by two until it is perfectly divisible. So when it is perfectly divisible, so n percentage two or modulo two should be equal to equal to zero. That means it is perfectly divisible, right? So if we divide by n by two and we get the remainder as zero. It means it is perfectly divisible. So that is our first condition and we'll also have another condition what is that it should be greater than 0 let us say if we have the number 0 0 percentage 2 is of course 0 so 0 is equal to equal to 0 is 2 and hence we'll have an infinite loop in this case right so we do not want that and hence we'll have the extra condition as n is greater than 0 so what are we doing we are increasing the value of exponent that is our count So exponent plus plus, and the other thing that we are doing is we are dividing n by two. So n divided by equal to two. So we are the essentially the meaning of this is n is equal to n divided by two. So we are continuously dividing this number by two and checking whether that number is divisible by two. If it is, then we are continuing this process again. So we have to return this value of exponent. So exponent is returned. I think the spelling is right. Yes. So that is a count function so we have completed a max exponent of function and the count function and hence the program is complete so for the given input as we saw it for 7 and 12 our output should be 8 let us run this program and verify that output and we have got the output as 8 so that is the end of this as in recording into week question so we are moving on to the try it out session the question to us is If we pass in the values 12 and 12 to the max exponent of function that we just completed, what would be our output? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. So the value of both a and b is 12. Curious. 
If you love this video, please drop a like and comment down below if you have any queries. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to Godivo. And we'll see you in the next episode of Daily Dose. Until then, bye bye.